not far away from the entrance of Port Sudan, divers find a wreck that belongs to the most famous ones in the whole Red Sea. Its name is Umbria. The wreck lies on the port side. The propeller shaft and the ship's stern form a tunnel. A dark, still fascinating area. Huge schools of young fish find shelter. It's like doing a night dive at 2 p.m. Entering the sunlight zone again. Here we dive under the port side, some 30 meters deep. The Umbria was a huge ship, 150 meters long, two engines, 12 knots maximum speed, built in Hamburg, Germany in 1912. Later, in 1937, it was bought by Lloyd Trestino. On its last tour, the Umbria carried military goods for the Italian troops in Eritrea. Equipment like cables, automobiles and tons of cement, which has become a wall of stone. But at the Wingate Reef, close to Port Sudan, on the 9th of June 1940, British officials entered the vessel for investigating the cargo. The Italian captain knew that the British would never let them go to Eritrea. And so he gave secret orders to sink his own ship. No one was harmed when the Umbria sank. Today, it's very easy to explore the cargo spaces and to see most parts of the ship during one single dive. Close to the old Italian wine, you find the bombs. Official sources speak of 360,000 explosives on board. And no one ever tried to salvage them. If you are lucky, you may meet Umbria's new captain. A big leopard grouper on a cleaning station. The starboard lies in very shallow waters, perfectly located for doing relaxing deco stops. But if you use computers of the newest generation, you may wait a bit longer. That's a different story.